Hello, hello. hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on us, stage. I'm holding a giant <laughs> stick in my hand. We're playing Madden 20. Oh, we're the Vikings. We're pillaging villages now God. with the Vikings. I didn't want to say villages. the R word, because I was about to. I love pillaging, though, Jonas. Dude, I will pillage everyone. I just want to punch somebody in the face right now. Dude. I'm just gonna punch somebody in the face so. and them just be the like, right, hey, dude. The elbow is somebody right in the GD nose and they're like, it's all good, bro. Yeah. It's like one <laughs> second you're punching each other's face, the next down, and everyone helps you up. <laughs> no one, like, someone falls down in the mosh pit, they like, everyone's like, let's get this boy up. Okay, let's yeah. get back to beating yeah. each other. It's yeah. like, you don't want, no one wants you trampled. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that those are like a big mosh. I don't even know if they come that big. <laughs> dude, okay. So I, I went to, okay, day. this is going to date me. Remember the band Cold Chamber? <laughs> Dude, I love Cold Chamber. You loved CD. their first album. Yeah, oh, okay. my God. Yeah, it was, yeah. After that, it was garbage. Trust me. So I was at a Cold Chamber show. And I went, and I was in their mosh pit. And I was, dude, it was it was going. And, like, <clears throat> and like I was I was doing the whole thing. I was doing the, the brom blop where I was just, like, feeling the music. And I had, like, my arms. I was just like, yeah, let's get it. And everyone was just hit pushing me around and whatever. It started to get really hot. Like, I was like, I don't feel well. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I have, like, I need to get the F out of this mosh pit. You pass out. And, like, this fucking... It was effing. We're only two minutes. We're two minutes in. We're good. So, like, this was, like, a giant concert in Cleveland. Like, mm. that was in the middle of a giant mosh pit. And, like, I was, like, and I started to get a little worried. I was, like, oh, my God. I need to get out of this. And, like, I literally, like, I took a moment. I, like, zen. I, like, was, like, oh. And I looked straight up, straight up in the sky. And you I had a moment with Jesus. And I literally screamed as loud as I could, let me out. And I swear to effing Jesus, the li the pit literally split. Literally opened up for me, and I walked out without one person in my way. All the way to the end of the end of it. No. And I was like, that was the coolest thing that's ever happened. Parted like life. a red sea. I dude. literally was like, let me out. See? And it, See? And I just walked to the back and I was good. See, Joe, how can you Jesus after that? Right. It was it was it, it was a moment that I was Jesus like agree with me? It was like effers. <laughs> yeah, Jonas. They give an F about me. Well, I mean nobody wants a case either. And I'm team. Oh yeah, but yeah, that that plus nobody wants a case. Nobody wants to die that accidentally killed somebody in a mosh pit. Right, but I was just like it I was just like Man, I was world that just felt good about the world. Well, I told my mosh on the, on the phone, but it, I, maybe we should go over what a mosh pit does for a person. Absolutely. Because I told about definitely when the people, girl was trying to fight me in a mosh pit, too. Yeah. And there's definitely a reason that people get in mosh pit. Mm -hmm. It is kind of like you, the music is aggressive and it's, it's just like, ah, it's yeah. always like some metal or some death metal. And you just or start some hard rock. Yeah, yeah whatever. Hard, yeah. yeah. And you just feel the need to just start moving your body. It's like blacks, there's Asians. There's, yeah, it's and just a cultural. It's a heavy music cultural thing. When it comes to that type of rock and roll, I feel like I feel like you guys got that. That's that's all <laughs> y'all. White people got that part. Yeah, down. I feel like y'all got that. Yeah, I can't can't say I've ever been to a hard rock show and there's a majority of African American or folks, Asians, or it, yeah, it's mainly like white folks with a few like other races mixed in. Absolutely, but the that's fact our that, slang. Yes, the fact is is that more or less that is uh, that's something that that your culture produced. Right. And brought it into the forefront. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. So, maybe you should be the <laughs> white. No, I don't But either way, you get in there, dude, and you just start hitting people, and it's always like it's consensual hitting. So, if it's, you act. It's not necessarily hitting. Sometimes it's just pushing each other it's around. And the dental, more or less. Or you're bump. But sometimes, like, you bump into someone, and then you just, like, push them to the other side of the pit. Yeah. And then everyone on the out, the circumference, catches them and pushes Back them. in. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's just like a pushing. It's not so much like punching in the face. It's more like yeah, a, yeah. It's more like a pushing around. Uh, there's more. There can be some incidental contact. Oh, absolutely. Minimal incidental contact. 
etiquette is not to get pissed off at the person who incident. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone accidentally elbows you in the face, you're like, yeah. mosh pit, bro. Yeah, you know, what are you doing there? If you're crowd surfing, you get kicked in the side of the head. I've been kicked in the side of the head yes. pretty dang hard, dude. Oh, my God. And you're like, ringing. But it ain't his fault. Yeah. So, so what is it, Jonas, about a mosh pit? What is the allure of the mosh pit? What makes us want to jump in that pit and try to love someone? Jump in? <laughs> what makes us oh want to do God. it? <laughs> jump in the pit and try That's to Bob love with someone. the Bob by Kid, Kid Rock. <laughs> so get in the pit and try to love someone. Did, did it. Bob with the Bob, it's the like, bang, the bang, nigga, nigga, nigga. What is it about it, man? It's I like, don't know. Is it like, getting in touch with your primal side with just like losing all inhibitions and just flailing around and like... Being and I think able that's what it is, and every, you know that's a great way to put it. And everyone is just like, okay, I may get hit, I may get pushed, I may get punched in the face, but it, no one's like trying to hurt me. Mm. It's just like that's what it is. It's like putting yourself in a potentially dangerous situation, but there's really no danger to you because etiquette is: if somebody falls, you pick them up; if somebody it is hurt, you let them out. Consensual non consent. Exactly. It's like you have full consent to like. Abuse me a little bit, but you better not be doing it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're not getting into, abused, dude. I'm not getting into any BDSM in this on that not on this channel thing. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Nobody gonna abuse You're me consensual. Abused in the pit a little bit, dude. It's a little bit of consensual abuse. And it is. It really is, man. I just miss guys like flip and just flip and dive on a group of people. And it's like, yeah, it's like you can just be like it's just so raw. Like you're just like you're like you know if you lose your footing and you fall down, someone is gonna grab your hand and pull you up real quick. Yeah, and you're right back. Or if you it. get really hurt, all you gotta do is be 17 year old Jonas and say, "Let me out," and they're gonna let you out. Yeah, like dude, that blew my. It was because I was a youngin, dude. Yeah, and I literally was just let me out, and it literally was just like, okay, poof. and I was just like, wow. And I just like huh. strutted my A out the strip bit. Like, wow. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I've, I've been in pits before, obviously. We've discussed it on the channel. Yeah. I enjoy them. Um, now I don't know if I would, but I have enjoyed them. Yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, like, there is always that, that person that might. Think there's a little like, bit of a hole in the pit. There is a little bit of a hole in the pit. There's that one guy that might be eyeing you up, especially if you're as big as me. There's always some guy that's like, "Oh, he thinks he's big. I'm bigger than him." Motherfucker, yeah. I was born this week. Right? <laughs> I don't try <laughs> to be big. I am big. Yeah, it's not like I go in the pit and I'm like picking out like people who are little six boys. <laughs> <laughs> little. <laughs> Why are there little boys in the pit? <laughs> Pits have you been to? <laughs> Little men. <laughs> Little men in the pits? Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> let me run up and just blast this dude. <laughs> Vern Troyer's in the pit? <laughs> right. Well, like, is in the pit now? <laughs> 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 why, are they, why are they in the pit? They're not safe there. Right. But, like, it's like... Yeah, I don't go in the pit. There's some dudes running in and they pit. start slamming elbows around. And you're mm. like, bro, that's not how you pit. Nah. Yeah, you are... What's that... Kicks are cool, but you don't aim to the ground. You don't quick towards the air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Elbows, you don't flail elbows backwards. You flare elbows down. Down, yeah. It's always downward. Yeah. You never upward flail. Yeah. What, what, what do they call it in a punk pit? Scallying? Or you're just like scallying around. You're like. What? I don't know this term, Joe. Yeah, you're like doing the rocks. It's like a punk rock pit thing. It's called like scallying or scallying. Oh, and I've seen SLC punk so many times and I don't know this That's term. About Sadness. That'd it is a really sad. sad. It's movie. like the, the dude who never takes drugs takes ibuprofen. It's not ibuprofen, and he gets dead. Yeah, dude, that's that is so sad. All my kids, where the guy fucks the girl and gets AIDS. Jonas, you can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> man! <laughs> I hit a visions are to the wind. TNT. I'm oh so sorry. my God! <laughs> it's always. It's okay. I'm it's fine. Where the guy has consensual sex with a young it lady. It was unconsensual, but she. Oh my out. God! Yes, I do remember kids. He, she found out she had AIDS earlier in the yeah, day, yeah. and then he took advantage of her at a party. And she's like, "Boy," and he's like, "I'm going." And then you're like, "Hiv," and he's like, "Oh." Yeah, I oh, do remember that. That movie was deep. And when that dude beat that dude with a skateboard at the skate park, <laughs> oh my God, dude. 
there's a lot of movies back then that were uh, that pretty hard hitting. That movie is so intense, kids. So, kids, the movie, I don't know. Don't watch it. Ask your parents. <laughs> It's NC-17. Don't, don't tell them we said It's an too. NC-17 movie. Is it? It is. It Every, really is. Because it has such... It's It's like... It's it's a good movie, but it's so, like, yeah. real. I've seen it on, like, HBO Showtime when they had the free weekend. Oh, my God. That movie is intense. Holy crap. It's like... It's so, <laughs> you all right, fam? Dude, it, you need a minute? <laughs> you you want to get in the pit and love? You wanna, I want to get want in some the pit love and love pit? somebody right now. That's what I want to do. Don't, just, don't you dude, ever try to get in my... a deep-ass movie, dude. I, don't know. I haven't seen it in so long. I don't really remember much about it. Every Whenever I hear kids, I automatically think about the Mac Miller album. Just, just not even going to lie. I don't see. like his early rap. I love mm. the last two... Nah, two of the last three CDs Mac Miller put out. So I'm that, not gonna that, get his early stuff when he was a, when he was a child. Good. When he, mm, Best I don't know, day man. ever. And That's when calls I started are, listening to. Best him. day ever and good call and missed calls are great songs. So you haven't heard a lot of the stuff that he's done since uh, because because it was all like uh, d- mixtape stuff. No, I've heard Faces. Faces is good. Faces. I turned Couch Man Pete on to Faces. He was like, I'm so glad you turned me on to that album. Oh, good. Faces is really good. And then there was one more, I think, after that one. I didn't. I kind of fell off after Blue Slide Park, and that's kind of when he like took out. He was out of here after that. Dude, Swimming. Yeah, That's one of really my favorite good. albums of all time. It is. It's, 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 up it's there. not. It's more like funk. Yeah. It's like a funky, like, dude, it is so good. Oh, my God. I fe- Oh, safety. <laughs> Jonas, what are you doing 28 over to here? 5, bro. What are you doing over here? I lose. Yeah, dude, I can't do <laughs> children songs. <laughs> John, you all right? I, I can't, bro. We, we were like, what a subject. I can't, dude. <laughs> we were from t- kids and back in like, yeah. Whatever. You know what? Fine, Jonas. He was in high school. He was a child when he put out all oh, that. Oh, when he was Easy Mac, Easy Rap. Yeah, dude. I can't do Easy Mac with a cheesy rap. Miss Calls, though. I don't know what that is. That's that's his first platinum song. Oh, I don't know what that is. Dude, it's a deep A song. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, just, I just like grandkids. What? Uh, what's the one where he talks about needing the, needing grandkids? Oh, uh, 100, 100 grand. 100 grand. Yeah. Nah, well, I like that one. Yeah, I promise my mom I'll give 100 grandkids. Jones, you're never going to have grandchildren. I might. I can still produce. Stop it. Stop it. You're telling me you're going to have a baby. <laughs> Do I want to have a baby? <laughs> Do I want to have a baby? No. So, like I said, you're never going to Okay, let you. me be real. You're never going to do if it. If I it. met a woman. Oh, my God. You'd have a baby. Who was 50. I would have a baby at 65. You're freaking nuts, dude. Get the frick out of here. If I met a here. woman who was young enough and dedicated to me and proved to me she wanted. She got to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I would, I would give her the baby, but it's her responsibility. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like getting her a puppy. Look, you gotta clean it. You gotta watch right. it. You gotta exactly. take it all walk. Exactly. You gotta teach it to read. You, you gotta teach to... it to read. I'd help it read. <laughs> I'd help it read. <laughs> that tells you how ready I am. Yeah. I'd help it read. I say. <laughs> Joe, does he wear? Hey, look, there you go. Somebody Why is to... Sorbetable Beret sending me a party invite? <laughs> Who is that? Is that... Maybe, they're a, maybe they're a channel fan, bro. They might be. They just got a. There was that one to... kid that messaged me. He's like, I watch you on YouTube. I was like, that is the coolest S that's ever happened to me. Funny, I had somebody, I was I was streaming Overwatch, and I had somebody say, TNT Dynamite, I recognize uh, a gamer tag. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I got into my bag, with like, yeah, I'm on Twitch, YouTube, look me up. He's like, oh, you got a YouTube? I'm like, yep, look it up. I'm like, come on, look it up. I'm like, yeah, do that. Yeah, boy. Because it's, Chris, it's Christmas, and we get all the uh, the Christmas noobs see. on Overwatch. The Christmas. Oh, dude, I should play Overwatch today. Let me see this. Ah, Jonas, do not check ah, it. Do not. It may be something extremely bad. Oh, wait, it's 42 to 5, and I was still playing the Yeah, game. why are you even still playing this I game? don't know. But I do want to see what he says. He might be like, I love your channel. And I'd be like, bro, don't, don't. I-L-U. I-L-Y. What? 
That's what my mom says when she says I love you. So she says I owe one. Don't tell anybody She's you love them. Talking me. Tell them you love them in vi- on over the video. All right. I don't want that. I don't want the paper trail for you telling anybody you love them over Xbox. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> all right. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to subscribe if you've already done that. Send it to your friends, family, grandmother, and other co-workers and any person in your life. Someone you met in a mosh pit. Someone you met at the DMV. Someone that you like to take to dinner and not make them pay. But for Jonas. Yo, are you, you done? <laughs> TNT Dynamite here. We are out.